Now, I see, wait. Don't be fooled, I will stick this bike on you if you try anything funny, don't think I won't. Bike cops, bike cops, look out cause we're coming If there's crime on our streets, well it better start running Cause we're breaking up street fights and stopping jaywalkers We're the narcs in the school, checking for drugs in the lockers Bike cops, bike cops, look out cause we're coming If there's crime on our streets, it better start running Cause we're breaking up street fights and stopping jaywalkers We're the narcs in the school, checking for drugs in the lockers Now, I see we have ourselves a little predicament here. I've been informed that we are on the cusp of catching one of the city's most notorious criminals. I had no idea this guy even existed until now, thanks to the top secret nature of this case. But the police department has entrusted me to bring this guy in. Now, while I am certainly honored, I must also inform you so as to set a precedence of honesty and uh, maintain my integrity as an officer of the law that um, I have no experience whatsoever in the field of interrogation for I am a bicycle policeman. I am extremely confused as to why our police force is actually going through with this and why they decided to choose this case as a test for their new free-range interrogation method, which apparently means holding this in my dining room. They want everyone to feel comfortable, maybe. Um, I mean, maybe I'm supposed to serve you something, I don't know. But then again, I don't think any potential criminals deserve any potential food, do you? But what I do know is that if the law has enough faith in me to bring scumbags like you in, then so be it. No matter what, I am a policeman. Now, let me paint you a story. See, some local convenience stores have had the pleasure lately of encountering a man by the name of the Entertainer. He likes to wear a mask or face paint, seemingly as part of the act. He'll give them works. Magic tricks, juggling, candy, even pretend he's trapped in an invisible cube or pull something in with an invisible rope. And that's when he goes for the showstopper. He makes a, a knife or a gun appear out of thin air and lures his unsuspecting volunteers into making their money disappear. He then likes to go for his secret weapon, impressions. To see such a wholesome and honorable art, tainted by the criminal element, all for their own selfish and unjust gain, just makes me sick. Now, due to his identity concealing talents, we've had to go by not only the known locations he's hit, but his physical description as well. You match both of those, apparently. But I need to ensure that, without a doubt, you are a man who can entertain. Are you serious? Oh, is police work really this boring? Is there no other way to waste the taxpayer's money? Hey, hey, are you interrogating me or am I interrogating you? Okay. Uh, how's your Sean Connery sound? Pretty Scottish. Not comical. Okay, okay. Um, I'll have a martini. Shaken, not stirred. Wow. That was horrendous. I mean, I, even I could do a better job than that. I'll have a martini, shaken, not stirred, and I'll also have a slice of your finest pizza. Anyway, moving on. Hmm. How about... George Takei. What's that? Star Trek? Lieutenant Sulu? Oh my. That guy? I mean, well, you just did him, so... Oh. How could I have been so stupid? I mean... Uh, never mind, anyway. 
<laughs> no way. you got to be able to do this one. Christian Bale as Batman? <laughs> no, that would be absolutely hilarious to see. If I were an officer of the law... You're right. Anybody could do it. You could do it. Well, I want to hear you do it first. I'll tell you what. Just to show you how easy it is. You do a line, and then I'll do a line. A different line. How does that sound? Okay. <coughs> oh, no, we're in hockey pads. Now you try. All right. Where are they? Yeah, you're right. That is a little too easy. <sighs> Hmm. Hmm. You do a Bugs Bunny impression? Let's hear how it sounds compared to legendary Mr. Mel Blank here. Mel Blank? Oh, is that what you call your bike? Is he a police officer, too? Does he do voices? I don't do Bugs Bunny. What? Consider yourself lucky, punk. Sir? What now, rookie? Sir, we just nabbed the driver of the entertainer's getaway car. He's being interrogated at the station now. We told him uh, the name of the suspect, and uh, he says that's the guy we're looking for. He's already confessed. We just need to get him to confess. <laughs> yeah, but how? I tried making him do impersonations, but he just keeps playing dumb. Well, sir, if I may, you, you can't just tell him to do it. You gotta give him... Incentive to do a genuinely good impersonation. What, getting arrested isn't enough? Oh, wait, I get it. Incentive. No, I mean, give him something that would make it impossible for him to resist doing a good impersonation, all on his own. You sure you're not talking about money? No, I mean, say something. Lure him into a trap, that sort of thing. Sounds like a good idea. I think I can figure it out from here. Well, well, well. We just had a chat with your little getaway driver friend here. What are you talking about? I don't have a getaway driver. I don't need a dr getaway driver because I don't have anything to get away from. I'm not a criminal. Besides, how do you know he's not lying to you? He described every crime in perfect detail, including the ones that haven't even made the news yet. What does that mean? What did he tell you? He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. No. That's not true. That's impossible. But what is possible is that you, my friend, are the entertainer. Take a look at the last name on the list. All right. I admit it. I'm the entertainer. I'm the entertainer. For your surprise birthday party. What? Ah! Happy birthday! Ah! Yes, Happy birthday, Happy birthday sir. Wow. What just happened? The surprise party is a surprise birthday party. Yeah, the guys and I got together and uh, we came up with this whole story about the entertainer for your party being a criminal and we took you here to do this interrogation right where we were going to have your birthday party. I mean, we always knew you wanted to do an interrogation, so we figured why not give you one. You gave me a fake story about a fake criminal and ordered me to do a fake interrogation, knowing full well that bike cops don't do interrogations, knowing full well that I'd jump at the chance anyway because an interrogation is something I've always wanted to do, and it was all because of a lousy, stupid, surprise birthday party? You guys know how to make a bike cop feel special on a special day. Now give me a hug. Ah, yeah. uh, thank you guys so much.
Thank you for watching Bike Shorts. Please like the video on YouTube, subscribe to us, share it with all of your friends, and you can get the feature length DVD yourself on etsy.com slash shop slash Austin Sussman P-R-O-D. Street fight, stopping jaywalkers, narcs in the school, checking for drugs in the locker.